Hey everybody, DeLong Shot Signatures here. This is episode 27 of this year's TTM Returns. I have three successes for five autographs to share with you all, and as well as a purchase. So all of these TTMs are hockey related. So we'll get started here with a former NHL player on some uh, pro set cards. This is a two of two success coming back from Dave Capuano, Capuano, something like that. Uh, his brother is a former... NHL head coach, and I think he's an assistant coach with the Senators. Could be wrong about that, but uh, Dave played over 100 games in the NHL, um, scored a few points here and there, so really glad to add him. And then we got two hockey prospects back. This first one here is ranked uh, the number 35 prospect in this year's draft as of right now for North American skaters um, via NHL Central Scouting. So that probably puts him somewhere in the second to third round. He could improve. Um, he's had quite a few points uh, up to this point uh, in the season. So we'll see where he he ends up. But this is a two of two success from Sudbury Wolves player David Goyet. Goyet signed both of these with a pretty unique signature. Um, the uh, <laughs> D and David goes around the entire thing. But uh, really cool of him to sign those. Didn't take too, too long. And then uh, that leads into this one. This one is super, super cool to get back. Um, I only sent one photo. I guess either the other one didn't turn out or I couldn't find another good one. Um, but uh, this is coming from the projected first overall pick in the 2023 NHL draft. Uh, those of you who follow hockey probably already know who it is. Um, he's been signing quite a bit. I got this one via a home address, but I also, uh, well, I forgot that I sent it out, so I also sent a request to uh, his team, the Regina Pats. So this is a one-of-one one return from Hockey Sensation, Connor Bedard, who, uh, like I said, plays for the Regina Pats. He is an exceptional player, so exceptional, in fact, that uh, he is the first ever WHL player to be granted exceptional status, which allows him to uh, enter the CHL, Canadian Hockey League, a year early. That has only happened five times ever in history for the CHL, and all those times were in the OHL. So he's the first ever to do it in the WHL. And, uh, you know, other big-name players like Connor McDavid and uh, John Tavares come to mind of guys who uh, received that kind of prestige coming into the ju major juniors. So really, really excited. We'll see if the other one comes back because this photo isn't exactly like the clearest one. But regardless, I'm I'm absolutely stoked to have this. Can't wait to see uh, what he does the rest of this year and next. Uh, and then last one here is a purchase. Um, been trying not to purchase as much, um, especially signed stuff because it does it is more expensive. But this is a uh, Fantastic former MLB player, um, and uh, if you guys look at the stats on there or the you know little notes, 1963 uh, NL Rookie of the Year, 1973 NL MVP. Pretty sure I have those years right. Those of those of you that are fanatics know exactly who um, I got just based off that. But I purchased an autograph of the all-time hit king Pete Rose to add to the collection. Um, just an exceptional, exceptional player and uh, also a pretty good manager as well. He was the, I think he's the last ever player manager to be in the MLB. Go ahead and set it up. Um, and then he became the full-time manager as well. He doesn't want to stand. Uh, but really happy to add that one to the collection, but uh, also some really awesome TTMs in today. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.